Hey guys, what's up? My name is Jadalyn and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm wearing sneakers. Sneakers, not sponsored by Adidas, I promise. All right, so if you hadn't noticed already, I have braces. And if you've been with me for a while, I've had braces since December. If you want to go watch that video, the I will be some more over here, and you can watch the video that I got my braces. I got my braces in December, and the reason I got them was because I have two back teeth on either side on the top that are sticking out, and now someone wants to take a shower. I don't understand my family. I apologize for any extra noises that you were hearing. Going back to my teeth. They stick out back here, and so when I would bite down, I would bite down onto my cheeks, and it would hurt so bad. I would get a lot of um, sores in my mouth, and it would just be painful, and I wouldn't want to eat on that side. Just... It was a thing. Along with that, I just had slight crowding on the bottom and, you know, regular, slight, minor, little things wrong with my teeth. <laughs> okay, so starting off with the putting on braces process. Every visit is different, so I'm only speaking about myself, but I'm almost positive this is along the lines of what happens every um, at every place. At first, we had to go to a consultation, which we made an appointment and it was great. They just talked about all of the options, whether I wanted to do like Invisalign or regular braces, or if I wanted to get the ceramic braces. We went with the cheapest option, which I was completely fine with, as long as it gets the job done right. Because braces are super expensive and I want to thank my amazing parents and they're, they're just grateful for the fact that I can even have them because they are super expensive. So just keep it in mind that if you ever get braces, take care of them, wear your retainer when it's done because you're not gonna go through all of that um, time, struggle, and money to just have them shift back to the way they were because that would be like really sucky on you and your parents, so. Anyway, I'm not exactly sure, but I'm pretty sure mm. on the day of the conservation conservation what <laughs> on the day of the consultation we got pictures and x-rays taken of my teeth so i don't have access to those or at least I'm, i don't think that i have access to those so after we figured out that we are going to get braces and everything is all gucci the week after we went and I got them put on. Like I said, the vlog is in the eye if you want to go check that out. So during that visit, they cleaned my teeth, made sure everything was good. If you want, you can definitely go online and search up like how braces are put on because people have videos of them. I just couldn't do mine, which was kind of sucky because I wanted to show the whole experience. But they clean them, they put special glue and stuff on them, and they glue the brackets onto your teeth, and then they put the wire in, and they put the bands on, and then you're good. What's cool about my orthodontist office is that they are partnered with Oral-B, and so with every client that they get, they get a toothbrush, which is super cool because it really helps when you need to get all up in there and within your wire and your brackets to make sure that you have the best hygiene because that is super important with braces. There are so many ways that you can end up with bad results and this is the easy way to prevent that. All right, so on that first day, which was a couple days before Christmas, if you just want a timeline, after they originally put them on, I was in so much pain. What I had to do was that night, actually, it wasn't even hours later and I was already in pain. So we had pizza that night and I had to cut the pizza into small pieces because I couldn't bite it off with my teeth. So make sure you take Advil, aspirin, Aleve, pain reliever. Make sure you take pain reliever before you go to your appointment because it will definitely hurt. Oh, and I also forgot to mention, you need to bring um, chapstick for both the consultation if uh, they're taking pictures that day and for the day you actually get them on because your cheeks are gonna be spread really large and it's gonna hurt and it's gonna crack. So make sure you moisturize before. They may have chapstick, like I got some from my orthodontist, but 
your your lips can't be chapped for that. <laughs> so for a few days, my teeth were really hurting and that is because your teeth aren't used to being shifted in that way. They're really only used to gradual shifts that just happen when your teeth grow in and stuff. So when it's going through such a like drastic tension because of the braces, it's obviously going to hurt. Soon enough though, you get used to them being in your mouth and you stop talking so weird. I still haven't reached that stage yet, clearly. But they don't really hurt anymore. Like my last adjustment, like you have like a couple teeth that hurt more than others. I don't know why that happens and not like the whole thing. But I'm pretty much used to it. My teeth are used to like moving now, so it's fine. It doesn't really hurt as bad. Now going to the things that you can't really eat. You just gotta be really careful. I'm not gonna say that you can't eat everything that's on that list. I don't actually think I got a list. I just got like groupings of things that I probably shouldn't eat, but there are no brainers as to how you should eat them. So let's say you're gonna have an apple. Don't bite into it, like you have to cut it up or else you're probably gonna break your brackets here or on the back when you're biting down. Like make sure that a lot of times when you're eating stuff, especially when you first get them on and you're not used to eating with like stuff in your mouth, that they're in small pieces and definitely soft. Soft is key to when you get them first put on and for each adjustment so that it doesn't hurt when you're like chewing. Luckily, I haven't broken any brackets. I mean, uh, that's really hope that it doesn't ever happen. But I have bent a wire. I was eating breadsticks one day and I wasn't being careful and it just, the breadstick got pushed down into my wire and it pops out. And it happens quite often um, to my bottom teeth, but I just push it in. Now I know to be more careful, especially when eating hard things like that. They, they can still do no good to your braces. <laughs> also for things like coffee and soda, or dark soda rather, things that will stain your teeth, please do not, <laughs> do not do that. Because then you're gonna end up with squares on your teeth and that's super gross. And also if you don't keep up with your hygiene, like I was mentioning with the toothbrush, you're gonna have like little rings around your brackets and that's pretty gross. And then that's another thing you have to worry about after you get your braces off instead of just like, oh hey, look at my smile. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy the rest of my videos as well, please subscribe to my channel. It is somewhere on the screen right now or when you get to the end card, it will be there too. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you will not miss another video. And last but not least, comment any questions that you may still have that I didn't answer in this video. And also comment some uh, video suggestions that you would like me to do. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much.